What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For a lot of you that are new here, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Nicole and I'm a full-time real estate agent with the Goss team with Real Broker LLC here in Rhode Island. It's so great to have you guys here with me. Today what we're going to be doing is a full day of prospecting where I'm just going to be making a bunch of phone calls, trying to get in touch with people, trying to book appointments for either this week or next week or just in the future. And so basically I have no outside appointments today, so that's why a lot of my time today is just gonna be spent with prospecting. I am starting, it's 9.30 right now. I usually start around 9.30, 10 is when I start making my phone calls for the day. So I'm gonna take you through what that kind of looks like for me. So these are leads that have come through, whether it's been Zillow, Google, or just random people that have gone on my website and just signed up and I haven't gotten in touch with them yet. I'm actually gonna call some people that I've talked to throughout the weeks as well too, just they haven't fully commit to an appointment with me to try to get them to commit to that appointment. Whether they're a seller lead or a buyer lead, we're gonna be calling them all today. So let's go into our first phone call. Let's see, let's, let's hope they answer. Let's see, first one of the day. The service you are attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. <laughs> well, I guess the first one is a bad number, so. <sighs> so another thing I do is I track the, the amount of phone calls I make based on conversations. So that's why I can kind of look back and kind of track what I've been doing, how many calls I need to make in order to make X amount of conversations. So I, I track that. We have a system that tracks that, that I go into. But if you don't have one, I recommend maybe just getting, if you have like a planner or a notebook or something that we can write down what day that you called and how many calls that you've made and how many actual conversations out of those calls that you've had. No answer. It's okay though. I feel like Mondays sometimes not a lot of people answer on Mondays. Um, today is a holiday so I figured that maybe people aren't working and they're just home kind of sitting on the couch having coffee, especially in the morning at 9.30. So I figured it'd be a good time to call them today. Please leave your message. Pretty sure she just ignored that call, but that is what happens people just sometimes do not want to talk to you all right guys i'm five calls in and still not one has answered me yet your call has been forwarded hey Jeff. nicole connell realtor with the goss team uh we haven't spoke since november so i hope you had a great holiday just wanted to quickly touch base with you see how everything was going see if uh what your timeline is in regards to purchasing a home give me a call back whenever you get a chance 401 my name's Nicole Connell, I'm a real estate agent with the Goss team. Just giving you a quick call to touch base with you. You found us last year on Google while searching for some homes in Cumberland for sale. Just wanted to see if you were still in the market looking and if there was any questions that I can answer for you. Give me a call back whenever you get a chance. 401. Great day. Bye-bye. Hi, Yes. Hi, Elizabeth. My name's Nicole. I'm a real estate agent with the Goss team. How are you today? Good, and you? I am good. Just giving you a quick call. I know you found us on Google uh, a few months back while looking for some properties in Johnston for sale. Just want to see if you were still in the market. Uh, no. I just stopped it. <laughs> you just stopped looking? Yeah, I just stopped looking. Oh, no worries. Was there any reason for you stopping or? Um, my work. Because um, right now I'm not working as many as I was. I used to do it, so right now I just stopped it for a while. Okay. Are you waiting until you go back to your normal hours to start yes. looking again? Yes. Because awesome. all this pandemic and everything else going on. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been tough for sure. Yeah. So I'm just waiting probably another two or three months and then go back and look for another property. Gotcha. Are you currently, do you currently own a home right now or are you renting? Yes. I already own a house. This is for my parents. Oh, you're going to be looking for your parents? Yeah, for a house for my parents. Okay, cool. Well, um, I don't know if you've been receiving the emails that I've been sending you uh, for some properties for sale in Johnson and Cranston. Are those the only two areas that you're looking in? Yes, okay. because I live in Johnson, so I want them to be closer to me. Oh, perfect. I actually live in Johnson myself as too, so I'm very familiar with the area. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so, well, I have you set up on that search for Johnston and Cranston properties between 300 and 500. Is that still the price range that you'd be looking in? Yes. Awesome. All right. And the email that I have is? Correct. All right, perfect. Well, I'll keep sending those properties over to you if that's all right with you. And if anything yeah, comes up, fine. 
Okay, perfect. And if anything comes up that you are interested in or if you have any questions in the meantime, uh, definitely reach out. But I will touch base with you probably in a few weeks or so and just see how things are going if that's okay. Sure, sure, no problem. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Thank bye. you, bye-bye. All right, so for that call, obviously, she's looking in the city or I should say town that I actually live in. So I always love to let them know that I live in the town that they're looking in or if they were looking in a town or city that I used to live in i always let them know that as well too just so they know that i'm a very uh, that i'm familiar with the area so i can be a very good advocate for them when they're looking for a realtor to work with when they are ready to actually purchase a home so she's a potential client i'm going to put a note in her file and just touch base with her probably beginning of february just seeing how things are going even though she said she probably won't be ready for two months i always like to call her a month be before because obviously if they want to move in the next two months or so it's going to take them some time to actually find that house close and get on a contract so i always like to call them before they say that they're actually ready just so i can get them kind of set up with their search and just kind of see where they are in the process try to get them pre-approved before we can actually start looking and going into some of these properties so that will be the note in her file and i will set myself up for a task to give her a call beginning of february so i don't forget and also because i told her i will give her a call back in february too it's always good to set a reminder for yourself so one you don't forget because she can be a potential client and two because like i said i will give her a call back in the beginning of february not now when i do i can say hi just calling you back like i said i was going to or as i promised i would it kind of builds the value for them and shows them that you were listening and you know you're not forgetful you're very detail oriented because you told them you're going to call them back and now here you are calling them back exactly when you said you were going to so so far i'm at 15 calls and two conversations hi this is nicole connell realtor at the goss team giving you a quick call uh, we spoke back in november and i just wanted to quickly touch base with you and see how your home search is doing and just answer any questions that you may have in regards to the market give me a call back whenever you get a chance 401 i hope you have a great day Bye bye Nicole Connor, Realtor with the Goss Team. How are you today? Good, how are you? I am good. Just giving you a quick call. I know we spoke back in the day. I, you were looking for some properties for sale online. Just wanted to see if you were still in the market. Uh, I am, but I haven't seen anything that caught my eye. No, not yet? Nothing yet, nope. Yeah, I know. The inventory is extremely low right now. That is for sure. And the prices I'm sure right now I'm there's no way I'm going to pay all that money for a house that's a dump. No, I hear it. Yeah, prices are definitely, values of homes are definitely high. However, interest rates are low. So it kind of weighs itself right. out in some aspects, whereas you're not paying as much for a property as you would, you know, when interest rates were in the mid fours to fives. Right. That, I mean, that's understandable, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's still a dumpy house. I mean, I don't I don't care what the interest rates are. If you're gonna pay five hundred thousand for a house and you're gonna put a hundred thousand into it, what's the sense of it? Right, right. No, I definitely understand that. Are you I have you set up on a search in Seacomp, Barrington, and then all of Province County and Kent County. Is that still more or less the areas that you're yep. looking in? Yeah. Between two fifty and three twenty five? Right. Okay. So you don't want me to change any of that? That's pretty much what you're looking for? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, perfect. And just quickly, what is your current situation right now? Are you current? Do you currently own a home, or are you renting? Um, I sold my home. Um, what was it? 2018, and um, I'm just staying with a friend right now. I bought a place in Florida, so. Oh, nice. Going down south. At some point. Are you gonna move there permanently, or are you gonna do like the six months, six months that a lot of the snowbirds do? <laughs> Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do, but it depends. I hear you. All right, well, I will uh, just touch base with you here and there. I have you set up on that search. If anything does come up that you are interested in, definitely just reach out to me. Um, hopefully, we see a little bit of shift in the market in the next few months or so where more inventory comes on. Obviously, that will kind of um, help with the values and hopefully interest rates still stay low. But we're hoping we're hoping by spring more sellers will be willing to put their house on the market. So obviously that will help with the values of the homes and so forth. But and hopefully those interest right. rates still stay low. All right. 
Sounds good. All right. We'll just reach out with any All questions, right. and um, I'll just touch base from here to there. All right. Thank All you. All right. Appreciate no, it. no problem at all. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So I didn't really push with him because the last time I spoke with him as well too, he was very concerned with the values of the homes and I spoke with him in the past to let him know that interest rates are still very low. So it kind of weighs out the values of the home whereas you're not paying as much money for a home even though the prices are high. The, the cost of the home is more important than the actual price of the home. Whereas the amount of money you're paying is a lot less than it would have been uh, a year or so ago when interest rates are in the fours to fives whereas now they're in like the high twos, low, th low threes. So if you purchase a home for like $300,000 today, you're probably gonna be looking at like a $1,500, $1,600 mortgage, whereas back in the day, you were looking at close to $2,000 for a $300,000 home when interest rates were 4.5 to five. So that's what I try to let buyers know, especially when they are very concerned with the values of the homes being super high because you will be able to gain equity a lot quicker in your home with the interest rates being a lot low. It's just sometimes really hard to make buyers understand that because it is true. I mean, values have gone up a lot lately, so it looks very scary in a buyer's eyes and it looks very awesome in a seller's eyes. It's really good to push how low interest rates are because that is a huge factor when it comes into a buyer's monthly payment. But like I said, some of them are just so stuck on the values being so high and they want to predict the market, which is not something that you can really do, especially nowadays. So basically that's going to end this video. I've been calling for about two hours. It's now 11.30 and I started at 9.30. I made 30 phone calls and had five conversations. Did I just log the last conversation? I didn't log the last conversation. So six conversations. I don't know if I'm gonna put every single conversation in. I am still new. I am still getting used to being on the phones and I'm constantly growing and constantly getting more comfortable with calling people and having that conversation with them where I'm not like jumbling over my words and stuttering and thinking of what to say. I try to really just relax my mind and just have a conversation with them. They're a human being. It's not like you're, you don't always have to focus on trying to get their business. I focus a lot on just gaining value and having them trust me rather than trying to push them to work with me. I give them the tools that they're looking for. They want to purchase a home, I set them up on a search where they start receiving properties as soon as they hit the market. I'm not in their face saying, up with me, we need to have an appointment, we need to sign a buyer's agreement with me before I can even do anything for you. I gain that value first, and then once they start trusting me and they start, I see them constantly on my site looking at properties, that's when I'll start working up to get that appointment. Now there are some conversations where I have with buyers and sellers where I can get that appointment on the first try. It just all depends on how that conversation goes. Today, these conversations didn't go like that. I more or less set people up on searches, told them that I'll follow up with them in a couple of weeks. So it just kind of, you just kind of have to gauge how the conversation goes as to whether or not you can jump into that first appointment setting meeting or if you need to build that value first and have them trust you and kind of see if they're an actual motivated buyer first too because a lot of these, a lot of these leads that come in, sometimes they're not ready right now to purchase. But I have tools in place where I'm always staying in touch with them and I'm staying top of mind so when they are ready to purchase hopefully I'm the first person they think of when they want to work with the realtor and that's when I'll get that phone call or it could be me reaching out to them and then be like oh yeah I am ready to purchase now so I do feel extremely comfortable on the phones compared to how I used to beginning of last year I was terrified to pick up the phone and start calling people but the more and more you do it the more comfortable you'll get with it it is very scary at first to start calling random people that you've never even talked to or never even met before but I promise you the more and more you do it the more comfortable and the more natural it will feel talking to these people but if you guys like this type of video you can kind of see real time of how I work and how I prospect definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.